Hey guys, so uh, today I just wanted to check out the uh, official Android uh, Marshmallow update here for the Motorx Style. I've been meaning to do a video on this update, I did get quite recently. Uh, so we can have a look at the uh, new features here and like some other Marshmallow devices, uh, we are getting basically uh, the Google Now on tap which is pretty nice. So uh, as you know, you know, if you're searching for something here, uh, we can have a look for kangaroo for example and uh, I don't know why I'm thinking of kangaroos but uh, if you just do this now you can see it should aggregate a list of uh, things specific to kangaroos like facts uh, as well as videos and meat recipes as well so you can see it's very uh, thorough here if you want to eat some kangaroo uh, also, uh, we do have uh, a new feature here where you can actually use the micro SD now for your storage, like your main internal storage. You can see I have put a micro SD actually in the uh, device here, and uh, we can see uh, if we just eject this and then uh, if we mount it again. So when I put it in, basically it asked me if I wanted to uh, use this as the main kind of uh, storage here. So in, instead of like uh, just using, you know, uh, the micro SD for your photos, etc., you can use it now for like uh, apps and things like that, which is pretty awesome. And you know, the reason why Samsung definitely needs to bring back the uh, micro SD capability here, because that's pretty good that you can put. 128 gig uh, SD card in there and you're good to go. So uh, that's a pretty cool feature. Also where uh, you do get uh, like uh, some other new things such as uh, optimizations when it comes to the uh, priority notifications. So if we have a look here uh, in the uh, do not disturb settings so you can see we do have total silence uh, which uh, will basically silence everything, alarms only, so that lets alarms through and priority only and then you do get some more settings here you can put on really customize it very uh, intricately with rules which is quite nice uh, so you also obviously get your optimizations when it comes to the uh, you know the Doze uh, functionality and app standby uh, gone is the days when uh, Lollipop used to let apps just run in the background, draining your battery. Now we do have uh, this uh, optimization here, so you can actually turn it off if you don't want like WhatsApp to be uh, optimized, like missing notifications and things like that. Uh, so you also obviously have your permissions as well, which allows you to try and you know uh, blow up the phone here by disabling the camera permission. I always like trying this to see if it does anything uh, but you can see with this one it's just basically bring me back to here so uh, that is uh, pretty nice that we do have that ability to you know customize things in terms of the actual user interface you can see we're still getting quite a basic one for the camera I definitely think Moto could uh, do a little bit better here uh, you know uh, it, it does the job but it's uh, you know where uh, it's good for newbies and things but when you're comparing it to the V10 you know the amount of things you can put on, on there uh, I'd like a little bit more fully featured camera app I think uh, also obviously we still don't get uh, the ability to close everything off here you can see we do have to do it one at a time which is a bit uh, you know uh, tough there for me and uh, also uh, you can see we do have the Android 6.0 version. Would have been nice if we had the Android 6.0.1. Uh, you know, maybe I'm being a bit critical, but you can see uh, this is Android uh, security patch level of November, and we're in January at the moment. So, yeah, it's, it feels a little bit uh, out of date already. But you know, uh, props to Motorola for getting it on the device quicker than some other manufacturers. Obviously, Samsung still on its beta. Uh, obviously on its uh, phones so I think uh, there's been some other uh, you know uh, improvements when it comes to the uh, like uh, the settings so if you have a look in the display 
Uh, we should not see uh, ambient display anymore, uh, which I always questioned, you know, why do we have that when we have moto display? Uh, moto display obviously does the job of what uh, you know ambient display used to do so I think they've uh, migrated it across here uh, into this so if we just have a look and see uh, maybe we don't need to do that let me out so so you can see uh, there we go uh, the display settings so uh, I think also we get a new uh, setting as well called a tentative display uh, which basically dims the screen when you're not looking at it uh, which uh, should be somewhere on the device uh, I'm not sure exactly where it is but uh, it should be somewhere in the moto actions actually maybe there we go so uh, when you're not looking at it, it will kind of dim that should be good for your battery life i think uh, also obviously you do get everything else like your karate chop and your twist for the uh, capture which is nice so there's definitely been some nice uh, you know updates here when it comes to the experience uh, but i definitely think they could go further you know maximizing the use of the big screen here i still think that you know it's not really being used as much as it could be uh, but you can see uh, the uh, actual um, kind of speed here is very nice and buttery nevertheless i probably do like a uh, comparison with the uh, like some other handsets seeing you know how it compares here uh, but so far it looks uh, very nice and quick going in and out of stuff when that's what we do need uh, so uh, yeah just a quick little video here checking out the uh, official Android 6.0 for the uh, Moto X style hope you did enjoy and if you did don't forget to leave a like and I'll see you in the next one cheers